So here's the lake. Um, I don't see anybody hanging out by the lake that I can just be like, I'm supposed to kill you. You? Mage's collective liaison. Who the hell is this guy? You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Tell me more. The collective is a self-policing guild of mages who simply want to be left alone. We mean no offense to the Chantry, but we would rather live on our own terms. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. More quests! Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll help, and I'm not gonna do any of these ones because then Morgan would hate me. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Damn it, why do you keep saying the Maker? Uh, they don't seem to mind either way. I thought Morgan would like that I helped with this. More quests! Holy crap, the activities of the Malvacarma on my doorstep did not go unnoticed, and now I'm in danger of being brought before the Templars myself. A small band of drifters claim to have seen me practicing forbidden arts, and they have left to deliver testimony of my alleged deeds to the Chantry. I ask the Col Mage's Collective to find and stop these false witnesses by any means necessary. They are traveling along the road from Lothering to Denerim, where their lies will seal my fate, so... Everything is pointing us to Denerim, so I could get a ton done there, uh, which which is nice. This collective is only successful at the pleasure of the Templars. Their continued devotion to our safety requires certain concessions on our part. In the interest of renewing our relationship with these fine and generous agents of the Maker, we ask that a willing man or woman of character grace our good friends with the gift of lyrium. Procure ten lyrium potions and offer them up to Knight Commander Harith in, in Redcliffe. I have to get ten potions? I think, aren't these lyrium? No, that's death root. I don't know where my lyrium ones are. I think uh, Morgan's got a few of those. I don't think I have ten, though. Disaster! So consumed have I been in my personal projects that I have neglected to collect vital components of the herbal, herbal remedy I use to sharpen my mind for thoughts of the other world. That I am ruined! Ruined! I will humbly reward any who bring me ten bundles of deep mushrooms. With this, I can continue on my quest for enlightenment with a clear mind and fewer bouts with drowsiness and indigestion. Really? May he who accepts this request be showered in riches and love from the Maker's heart for this noble and selfless act. This is literally my salvation. <laughs> I can't poop. In times such as these, one must suspect even his neighbor of the darkest dealings, lest they cast shadow upon those who labor under the light. Uh, Jubasto have heard tell of a cabal of Maleficarum performing rituals in the dark near my sanctum, and I certainly wish to see them brought to justice for their dark deeds. I hesitate, however, to accuse them of foul sorcery without a full understanding of the trappings ritual and appearance that dark magic requires. The writings of the hated Maleficarum Bannister should be suitable. Should a courier be available to procure me copies of the scrolls of Bannister, I would be appropriately grateful. So I'm going to uh, just accept as many quests as I can, and uh, we'll see about getting them done some other time. So I don't know um, really where the guy is. I didn't even know there was a mage's guy out there, actually. Uh, that's Dwin's house. So I assume that the other guy isn't hanging out around here, um, that there's a different location that is on the lake. That's not necessarily in Redcliffe. However, we need to talk to Dernal Garrison, which, once again, I didn't think was a proper name, but they are telling me is. Isn't his place? Yeah, there's the bridge. The, br the bridge to Dernal Garrison. I knew you were important for something. I didn't know it was that you had to fight for people. Dude, you're in the Mafia. They, they, they dragged you in. Dernal Garrison, you've been... Impressed. Yes, what can I do for you? I have a letter for you from the Dragsto Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Loan sharks. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. Well, that was easy enough. I didn't have to kill him or nothing. Uh, what are with these stairs? Uh, th they're not stairs. Okay, they look like stairs from here. 
Over here, there are logs. That is a lot of logs, and they're suspiciously close to the fire. One spark. One spark is all it takes. Uh, nothing else here. Yeah, I've already checked. So I think it is time to move on. We can head up uh, to Sir Percy if he's got anything new to say. Um, but I believe that is pretty much it with the freaking like fish thing. I don't know what that is, but it's disturbing me somewhat. Let's head back and talk to Perth and Hopefully he's got something new to say now, but chances are no. Knight Commander Harith, there he is. Morgan, how many potions do we have? Do I, I didn't give you the potions on your freaking bar? You need the potions on your bar. Where's the lyrium potions? Uh, well, I've got ten total. Is that going to cut it? Ten total. Perth, do you have anything to say? Bantigan informed me that he would like us to wait at the castle gate, should you get the opportunity to open it. I would prefer to enter the castle with you, but he is right. Someone must remain to guard Redcliffe and bring word to the king should our plan go awry. At any rate, I will, will go not. to the gates now. May you remain in the maker's sight, my friend. And off he goes. I guess he didn't really have anything new to say. Do I have enough uh, Lyrian potions for you? Friend. I have a gift for you from the Mages Collective. Oh, wonderful. I always appreciate correspondence from my upstanding friends in the Collective. Correct. On behalf of myself and my men... I thank you. I'll make sure the collective's generosity is reciprocated. On your way now. Okay, I guess uh, it, it is just total. And if, right, return to the Mages Collective for your reward. I'll do that uh, later. That's a long run. Nobody's hanging out over here? Andraste's Grace? What the hell is this? I saw a shine. It's a flower? It's a gift? Okay. Sure. I assume that's for uh, the landmark tree. A distinctive landmark, but otherwise rem unremarkable at this point. So it's going to be remarkable some other time? Oh, I have figured out how to zoom out, by the way. <laughs> that will be important. Uh, so with everything else pretty much done, and we can turn in a quest already. You know, that's, that was fast. Uh, we need to head in here. Anything good hanging out over here? No, nothing else, nothing else has changed. When did I switch back to... whatever. Let's drop another save before I go down into the secret passage. Scrap my own short lengths of wire may look, not look like much, but a skilled trap maker may use them to build lure, lures and triggers and... Uh, yeah, whatever, traps. I'm not going to be using those. Door. I see... I see something. Enraged corpses! Hooray! All right, uh, let's open that and back off. What the hell are you... See, I did not tell her to do that. I did not tell her to do that. All right, so this is how I'm going to try to do battles from now on. Uh, we, we're going to need to turn that on. Uh, so that's pretty much all he's going to be doing right now. Uh, we got powerful swings that is on, so we need to sunder arms on him. Uh, Alistair... You're doing pretty good, so uh, shield bash him. And uh, you need to go for horror. I think that should be good. I think that should be good. Okay. So. Now we need... Yeah, he's still going. There we go. Now you... Need to use shield pummel. You need to use uh, pinning shot. You need to use pummel strike. You need to use uh, winter grasp. Was it? Yeah, winter's grasp. There we go. And that's still not enough. All right, down it goes. All right. Now you. Need to hit him. Let's pause again. Once again, this is... I know, it's probably going to take a while. I, I apologize, but I'm going to get better at this so I can I can do this faster. Uh, pummel strike on uh, him. Now, you can't do that yet, so mighty blow on him. And uh, you need to do another winner's grasp on him. And then we should be able just to finish him off until dead. And that's all of them, right? That's all of them? 
Hello? Yeah, that is. Who's there? Is there anyone alive down? out there? Yes, I am alive. You're bloody. Who the I hell mean, are you? You don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? I sure am. I'll ask the questions here. I yes, I understand. I don't want any trouble from you, do you understand me? Yes. No trouble from me. I understand. Let's intimidate the prisoner. Who are you? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son Connor. Until they uh, threw me into the dungeon here. Why? What did you do? You don't know? I thought everyone knew. I poisoned all Eamon. Uh, I already knew that. I didn't already know that. How was I supposed to... How was I supposed to know that he did it? What about all the walking corpses? I don't remember I, everybody saying it. I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the arm. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Your, your clothes are doing remarkably well for that. Why'd you poison the Arl? I was instructed to by Terran Logay. Of course. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Logain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malefica. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. Yeah, you're wearing way too many clothes. Well, that isn't good. Oh, what's I with your head? in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Logan was giving me a chance to redeem myself. Never. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. Why'd the Arlesson need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Why, yeah, why would she be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title. Even the son of a powerful Arl. Why not? She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Arleman had no idea. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. How much magic did you teach him? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Okay, so apparently the sun did it. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. I say this boy could still be of use to us. But, if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Give me a chance, please. I side with... boobies how do you make things right I, well I try to save anyone still up there there must be something I can do and after that what happens afterwards I assume I'll be arrested or executed or whatever people like me get I'm tired of running from the circle I need to account for what I've done so if I were to just let you go I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. Isn't it a little late for that? I don't think it will redeem me, 
But that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. Hmm. That's commendable if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? Uh, you come with me. Sure, I guess I could use another mage, a backup mage. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Why not? I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. Beggars can't be choosers. Come, or stay there. Yeah, no, then help. Just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. That was easy. Why couldn't he have done that? Morgan approves! Hooray! Where'd he go? He's... he's gone? What the hell? Why am I on Morgan now? So, yeah, he just freaking disappeared. Anything in here? Anything in the cages? In the cells? No? I know everybody else hates me, but Morgan really likes me for that one. So, uh... I think I did the right thing, because I'm not trying to sleep with Stanner. Right. Or Alistair. What the hell is that noise? Is that... <laughs> who's that all right? Uh, that's deeper into the castle. Here's... There's a corpse. There you go. Give me a lyrium potion. I do require that. There's nothing in any of the jail cells? What kind of an RPG has nothing in any of the other cells? There you go. Pile of filth! With healing potions in it. That's ironic. Nothing in any of these. Where are the guys that I killed? That's further up. Oh, crap. Okay. Let's zoom out so I can figure out what the hell's going on. Morgan, you go over here. Alistair, uh, you need to uh, shield bash that guy. You You still have that on, so... Uh, you need to pinning shot that guy. Sten, you need to sunder his arms. Okay, go! Morgan, get out of there! Okay, pause again. We need you to do Winter's Grasp on that guy. Yeah, she's she knows who to hit. Pummel Strike! And Shield Pummel. And uh, Crippling Shot. Wait for it to finish. There we go. Now you need to hit this guy. We're going to go for the guy on the right first. You need to hit that guy. Uh, you need to do a mind blast. We'll try that. And then you can uh, mighty blow that guy. There we go. Everybody's stunned. Down he goes, so now it's time to switch over to this guy. Still can't do anything with him. Uh, you need to hit this guy, Sten. Uh, you can do sun... No, not Sunder Arm. Uh, you can do Pummel Strike on him. You can do another Winner's Grasp. Uh, she did it on the wrong guy, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, damn it, I moved her. And then uh, we should be able to just take care of the rest. And down they go. Well, there we go. That issuing the commands manually is making this a lot easier. A lot easier. Oh, there's still somebody left? <laughs> My bad. I didn't see him way over there. I'm sure you guys can handle them. Come on. It's three on one, and it's a shambling corpse. Take him on. All right. We did it, and nobody died, and yes. I did pretty damn well, I must say. I like issuing the commands manually. It, it changes the feel of the game uh, a lot, considering that I was uh, based on I was expecting based on what everything said um, it, with the tactics and all that kind of stuff. I was expecting Final Fantasy XII's uh, battle system, uh, but it looks like I have uh, well gotten kind of a hybrid between StarCraft II and Final Fantasy Tactics. That's what it feels like to me. Um, that goes to the windmill, but that goes down. Okay, so this is actually the way forward? This way? We need to go up? 
I assumed we need to go down, but that was just me. So let's head up here. Nothing else to grab. And uh, you can turn that off so you can have a little bit of health back. Or not health. Uh, some of your magic back, your stamina back. And we can just move forward and take on more enemies and issue more commands. Thank you for the save game. Really? Nothing? Nothing in here? Giant empty room, but we have another dungeon ahead of us, of course. Uh, let's just head over here. Hopefully I can take on just one guy. Of course not. Of course not. And we've got... We've got a mage or something. Okay, so you need to turn this on now. Why did I turn that off now that I think about that? Alright, you need to do that. You need to uh, sunder his arm so that he doesn't do any damage. And, God, it's kind of hard to find a good angle here. And uh, I can still do it on the side of the screen? That is so weird. Morgan! Uh, what's the first one I got here? Disorient. There we go. Okay, Morgan, um, do a mind blast. You can do a pinning shot. You guys are still working on yours. Alright. You need to do Winner's Grasp on, on him. You need to finish him off. You need to finish him off. You just finish that guy off. Okay. We're, we're changing it up again here. You hit him. You... Pummel strike. No, hit him with a pummel strike. You uh, hit him. Yes. You, you you just you look pretty. No, you do a horror. Direct me. Yeah, we're we we could probably just finish these guys off with regular attacks. Once again, I'm still stuck on Morgan. There we go. Yeah, down they go. Down they go. This is working out a lot better. A lot better. 